If you use HDRFX Pro 2 in Lightroom, you may have encountered a time when it seems like you couldn't find the HDR image you created. Due to the way Lightroom is set up, you may not actually be looking in the correct area. To begin, I have a few photos that I want to import into Lightroom. I'm going to import the photos, and once Lightroom imports them, we're going into HDRFX Pro 2. For this image, I'm just going to choose a basic preset, and then I'm clicking on Save. So we now have an HDR image generating out. Now once we're back in Lightroom, you would expect the HDR image to be located right next to the original. But the reason why it's not is because currently we're in the previous import area. The HDR image was technically not imported, it was a newly created image. Because of this, it won't be here with the previously imported images. The same reason holds true for if you choose your original image from a collection. If you use collections, you have to add photos to them, so of course, your HDR photograph will not automatically be there. So what's the easiest way of finding our HDR image? What we do is we right click on the image that was used to create the HDR image, and you choose Go to Folder in Library. Once you've done that, you will be where that original image is located and your HDR image should appear there close to your original image. If it does not though, it's based on how you have your sorting set. So just go up to View, Sort, and you can change how you want this set. I usually do File Name, and then we have our original and we have the HDR image right next to it. The reason why we chose to sort by file name is because when the new HDR image is created, it uses the name of the original file and then adds an HDR to the end.